honey for swishing of mouth, also called Kavala and Gandusha, because of Ranahara effect and also Kapha Nirlekana effect. Probably it's, it's good for like a oral thrush. That can be done to some extent, but for Kavala and Gandusha, Acharya's recommendation was most of them were oils and ghee. It was, um, and later it was some kashayas. But there is no harm in using honey for mouth ulcers or something like that, where a person is suffering from such type of things or the pitta dominated conditions or burning sensation, something like that. Or there is an, um, like, uh, Gutka chew, you are consuming Gutka for a long time and has been developed um, fibrosis as such, in such type of conditions. Definitely he can use it for the purpose of Kavala and Gandusha. It will help to heal the things. So this is liquids for Gandusha from Asangradiya. Fats, oils, bees, honey with water, shukta, fermented gruel, even madhya, uh, mansarsa, Mutha, Danyamla, varieties things that can be used, of course, it, it depends on. And also, there's a reference that, you know, for, of, of all the uh, liquids available for Kavala and Gandusha, <clears throat> uh, Paila is the best, as rightly pointed out. So, this is from uh, Astangriya Kavala Gandusha chapter, chapter number 22. When is Kavala and Gandusha to be done? It, it is usually on the empty stomach in the morning. So same Kavala and Gandusha is being used by Ayurvedic community, but it has been made more popularized by the term oil pulling. That's what the very the Westernal, Westernal world has come out with this oil pulling and they started using for this oil pulling, the, what are the oil available, even sunflower oil, olive oil, they used, started using it. But the intention behind that we need to understand that Kavala Gandusha's intention is to control the Vata and Kapha at that places. But primarily for vata, that's the reason to maintain the sturdiness of the teeth, to maintain the mouth health or you can oral cavity health or buccal health. So such type of things they have been used. And of course, cover and gandusha, one is totally covering the mouth with full of its thing without moving the liquid. Then other one, it is half full and it is made to move while blowing the air into that and making it a gargling.